thank you for joining today's and within this lecture we are going to validate service connection point or sometimes we call SCP which is uh, which can be configured or which might be you should be you know, configuring during the hybrid Azure AD join configuration uh, which uh, which will be used Microsoft Azure AAD connect tool or Azure Active Directory connect tool during this connectivity tool or Azure AD connect tool when you're trying to use you would be actually configuring SCP and for hybrid Azure AD join and also for Intune guys also this configuration will be configuring and if you're in a situation to validate the configuration whether we have configured SCP or not this is a right video which will explain uh, by running a few of the PowerShell commands to know whether we have the SCP uh, configured properly or not there is nothing a big commands these are simply three different commands so the first command would be the SCP equaling new object where we are going to create a new object uh, and the variables will be saved under SCP uh, that's the system directory services directory entry and third one second one would be the uh, within that we are actually creating a path uh, to connect to a specific value for device registration configuration services and if you look at the last two which is DC uh, 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 this equivalent I in demo comma and uh, this equivalent local so here uh, my domain controller name is I in demo dot local so in your case if you have a different domain you might have to adjust according to the the selected uh, keywords or your domain name so my domain name as I said in demo dot local so in your case if it is abcd dot com or maybe dot local then abc dc equivalent abc comma dc equivalent uh, local or dot com would be you know given in this case okay guys and once you have entered these commands the proper domain name and just hit enter that's it now you need to know input additional command which was actually stored under SCP dot keywords as a variable and it will return some value including your AD name that's as your AD name and as your AD ID and that way it actually written some value meaning you have successfully already configured SCP configuration or service connection point is already configured for you so that's how you can validate I hope this short lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this